हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल कल्पना सागर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सी ओ डिपार्टमेंट काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बस सिस्टम यूजिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सर बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड स्टूडेंट शुड लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर देन ओनली दे वुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द टूडेज मेजर हाईलाइट दैट इज द बस सिस्टम यूजिंग मल्टीप्लेक्सर in some of my previous video lecture i had given you an introduction about combinational circuit and sequential circuit with an example in this video lecture we are going to discuss about one of the example of the combinational circuit that is your multiplexer multiplexer is a combinational circuit that receives the binary information from one of the 2 to the power n input data lines and directs it to a single output line due to this reason multiplexer is called as many to one device means that multiplexer has many input data lines it will have only single output line the selection of the particular input data line from many input data lines for the output is determined by a set of the selection input now what is this selection input for example if we have 2 to the power n cross 1 multiplexer then it means that it will have 2 to the power n input data lines where n represent the input selection line whose bit combination will always determine which input data is selected for the output let's try to understand this with an example if i have to design a multiplexer of size 4 cross 1 then this will be the functional table for 4 to 1 line multiplexer 4 cross 1 multiplexer it means that we have four input data lines and one output line so input data line are represented as i0 i1 i2 and i3 in this case whereas we have a single output line this is the output line designated as y it is 4 cross 1 multiplexer means 2 to the power n and in this case it is 2 to the power 2 which represent we have the two selection input which is represented as s0 and another one as the s1 the input combination of the selection input will decide which one of the input data line will be selected and it will be directed on the output line due to this reason the multiplexer is always called as data selector since it selects one of many data inputs and steers the binary information to the output this is a circuit diagram of 4 cross 1 line multiplexer where we have the four input line which are represented as i0 i1 i2 i3 and one output line which is represented as y here 2 to the power n means 2 to the power 2 two selection inputs would be there which are represented as s0 and s1 each of the input data line will be connected to each of the and gate each and gate will have another two inputs the connection for another two inputs can be established by using the functional table of this multiplexer if you remember in the previous functional table if we had the combination for s0 and s1 0 0 then in that case the i0 input data line will be directed onto the single output line so if it is 0 0 it means that 0 means we have to make the connection through the inverter gate this is the not gate or the inverter gate if the input combination is 0 0 uh, then in that case i not will be directed on the single output line so you can notice for this particular end gate we have one direct input data line that is i not and the another s0 and s1 input combination that was 0 0 so the second input of this and gate is connected to this inverter gate and the third one is also connected to this inverter gate representing the 0 0 input combination for s0 and s1 similarly in if we look for the second input combination of s0 and s1 
one that is your zero one in that case the i1 input data line will be selected and it will be directed onto the single output line so in order to establish the connection between this and gate and the inverter gate we need to connect the i1 input data line to this and gate and the another inputs are coming from this inverter gate means the it is connected to the inverter gate for this s1 it means the zero combination is there for s1 and another line is coming from the s0 means the one value for the s0 is coming through this line which indicates that the i1 input data line will be directed onto the single output line in the same way by using that functional table of the 4 cross 1 line multiplexer we can establish the another input combination at the end in order to get the single output we need to use the OR gate whose input will be connected to the output of each AND gate and final output that is your while will be obtained at the output of this OR gate. Now let's see the application of this multiplexer in the construction of the bus system. A typical digital computer system has many registers and the paths must be provided in order to transfer the information from one register to another register. But the number of the wires will be excessive if the separate lines are used between each register and all other registers in the system. We have a more efficient scheme for transferring the information between the registers in a multiple register configuration and that is your common bus system. A bus structure consists of a set of common lines, one for each bit of register through which binary information is transferred one at a time. We also have control signals that determine which register is selected by the bus during each particular register transfer. One way of constructing a common bus system is with multiplexer. So this is the application of the multiplexer. This multiplexer can select the source register whose binary information is then placed on the bus. This is the block diagram of bus system for four register. Within this diagram, you can observe that we have four marks over here, which are represented as marks 0, marks 1, marks 2 and marks 3. It is four cross one marks. It means that it will have four input data line represented as 0, 1, 2 and 3 in each marks and the one output line. From every marks, we can observe the one output line and these output line represent the four line common bus. Though we are discussing about the marks, so obviously it will have the selection input. Here we are discussing about 4 cross 1 means 2 to the power 2 means 2 selection input would be there which are represented as S0 and S1 in this case. This is the functional table of this bus system for 4 register in which we have the two selection input S0 and S1 whose input combination will decide which particular register will be selected at the destination. In this diagram we have 4 registers register A, B, C and D and each register has 4 bits represented as 0, 1, 2 and 3. In this circuit diagram, you can also observe that the output 0 of register A is connected to the input 0 of MUX 0 and the output 1 of register A is connected to the input 0 of MUX 1. In the same way, the output 2 of register A is connected to the input 0 of MUX 2 and the output 3 of register A is connected to the input 0 of MUX 3. In this way, we establish the entire connection within this bus system using multiplexer. Two selection lines are connected to the selection input of each MUX. You can observe that S0 and S1 are connected as the selection input to each MUX. The selection line select 
the four bits of one particular register and transfer them onto the four line common bus. When we have S0 and S1 input combination S0, 0, then in that case the 0 data input of all the four multiplexer would be selected and applied to the output that forms the bus. This causes the bus line to receive the content of the register A since the output of this register are connected to the zero input of all the multiplexers. Similarly, register B will be selected when we have the input combination for the S0 and S1 as 0 and 1. In general, a bus system will multiplex K registers of N bits each to produce an N line common bus. The number of multiplexers needed to construct the bus is equal to N which is the number of the bits in each register. The size of the each multiplexer must be K cross 1 since it multiplexes K data lines. In short, the transfer of information from a bus into one of the many destination register can be accomplished by connecting the bus line to the inputs of all the destination registers and activating the load control of the particular destination register selected. This is all about the bus system using multiplexer. Now I would like to conclude my video lecture in which the students have learned about the concepts of the multiplexer and then the application of the multiplexer in the sense that the construction of the bus system using the multiplexer. Thank you students. See you soon in the next lecture. Till then keep smiling and happy learning.